Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a random review. I am Random Ross, and today I review Deadpool and Wolverine. Yes, Deadpool and Wolverine, written by Ryan Reynolds, uh, Rep Reese, Paul Wernick, Zeb Wells, uh, Sean. Levy, directed by Sean Levy, starring Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, Emma Corrin, uh, Marina Bacani or something, Rob Delaney, Leslie Ag uh, Agnas or something, Aaron Stanford and Matthew McFarnley or something. So this is the 34th film in Marvel Studios. It's a multiversal adventure film. Where, you know, after Wade Wilson, how, after the events of Deadpool 2, where Wade Wilson hangs up, destroys his time device and hangs up the red suit, he feels he wants to have a purpose in life, he even goes to what, like, the MCU Earth 1616 to try and be an Avenger, but doesn't quite get there, and he then gets recruited by the TVA as his universe is on the brink of destruction, and, you know, he then finds he can work for the TVA, but chooses to save his universe as it needs its Wolverine. And he goes all out to different universes to find a Wolverine, and we get one where he let his universe perish, but he wears the yellow suit, which took 24 years for us to finally see Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in the yellow comic book accurate suit. And yeah, we do see a moment where he dons the mask. Say no more on that. And also, you know, he's not the same Wolverine we've watched in all these X-Men movies over the years. It's a different variant, of course. And they get, um, you know, uh, zapped, you know, stun tasered into the void. And they have to try and find a way out of the void. But they then find this mutant named... Cassandra Nova, who is the twin sister of Charles Xavier, who has her own little kingdom in the void with like Ant-Man corpse as a fortress and other mutants from other universes. And of course, Deadpool and Wolverine end up teaming up with some other characters that we've seen from the past. And of course, we uh, you know, get some fun action in there, some ton of Deadpool variants, we get loads, you know, Wade going across many other different, like, Wolverine variants in this movie, yeah, it's one big fun multiversal adventure, and that's all I can tell you without giving anything away, because I want to keep this as spoiler free as possible, so what did I like about this? First of all, our two leading men. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman reprising their roles as Deadpool and Wolverine. Clearly, Marvel Studios and Disney saw that there's no replacing these two. There's no recasting them. It's either do it with them or not at all. I'm so glad we got Deadpool and Wolverine. You know, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman returning to their iconic roles. And they played it to perfection. Ryan Reynolds with the constant fourth wall breaking. The brutal, bloody violence. The fun action we got and you know Hugh Jackman swearing like a trooper and giving us some violence and action it was so much fun with them too and they made this movie and that is why it is called Deadpool and Wolverine also we got a shit ton of cameos and easter eggs from previous characters from previous Marvel movies and even that predate the MCU I'm sure you know that Tyler Main comes back as Sabretooth from Ray Park as Toad and Aaron Stanford as Pyro, which we see in the trailers anyway. We see, um, you know, other characters, including Chris Evans, who returns in, not in his Captain America role that we've known him for in recent times, but another old role that you will know if you know. Um, but this had some good visual effects great TVA effects still in that we get so many love letters to past Marvel projects 
It was just a blast watching and I was entertained throughout the 128 minutes. There's one end credit scene which I thought was funny and you know, even though you know, Fox merged with Disney or Disney bought Fox or what have you and started to change things up, they let us know that, you know, even though, you know, they're, they're moving things forward in that, the old franchise of X-Men in that, and others before Marvel Studios was founded, they still know that we know they exist and they respected that and I, I loved it. And God, I just, those two hours and eight minutes flew by like that and... My God, it was so much fun. <clears throat> you know, I mean, Phase 5 didn't get off to the best start, you know, with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, then the firing of Jonathan Manger, so they had to, like, sort of work around and think, what are we going to do for Kang Dynasty? And they've worked that out, of course, if you know the latest already and that. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I think, was the best one that came out last year from Phase 5. The Marvels, not so much. But, yeah. I think, you know, Marvel taking some time out, rethinking their errors, correcting some mistakes, and listening to fans is the best thing for it, and I think they're back. I really do think Marvel is back, and, you know, just seeing it all, you know, Ryan Reynolds and what have you, Hugh Jackman, just perfect, just spot on. And, yeah, look out DC Studios, I felt like you were going to give Marvel a run for its money, you might still do, but just be wary, I think Marvel are bouncing back, and I think it's good that we've only got one Marvel Studios movie out this year, because it's given other studios, other, you know, films a chance to shine, you know, instead of getting three out every year, I mean, we've got quite a lot out next year with Captain America, Brave New World, uh, Blade, uh, and uh, Fantastic Four, and uh, I think we got Agatha for All One coming out later this year. Still, um, this one, best thing Marvel Studios has done this year. This is a no-brainer. It gets a five out of five from me. Will I see it again? Will I wait for it to come on Disney Plus? I don't know, I might have to go to cinemas and see it again, because it was that good, you know, so, yes, Deadpool and Wolverine, 5 out of 5, what did you think to it, did you enjoy it as much as I did, I'm just so buzzing from it right now, because I've come back from watching it, let me know down in the comments below what you think, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell, and... If you love horror content, I have a channel for that too, linked down below in the cards above. So, yeah, that's it from this one. So, until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends, goodbye.